Joy is influencing. Look at that. Oh, yes. Oh. Hey, sir. Do you mind if I take a photo of you? Hi, sir. How are you? Can I take a photo of you? Do you mind if I take a photo of you? Look a little bit that way. All right. Excuse the mess, guys, but we had to package it. I got this crate from a friend recently, and it's amazing. My wife's so happy because all my mess is just in there. All my camera gear versus before it was all over the floor. So we've got a new lens right there. I've never actually shot with that focal length. It's going to be very interesting. Remember the other day we had this one. We went to play with it at night and it was absolutely epic as usual. And here, what do we have? We have something that I think is going to interest a lot of you guys because the price point is also a lot smaller. We're talking about the 65 millimeter from Sigma F2. They sent it over, they're like, hey, do you want to test it out? Do you want to play with it? I was, yes, of course I would like to play with it. I always love to play with lenses. It's not a paid review or anything. It's just me having fun trying that. Ooh, that design is very interesting. It's very different. We're gonna try that 65 millimeter F2 in the streets, see how it feels and how it shoots. So if you're ready, we're not gonna stay in studio, obviously, we're gonna go out there. Whew. All right, so that's the 65 millimeter. Let's see what we can do. I have to get used a little bit to the focal length just to understand how wide or tight it is. Um, I'm not sure yet. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get used to it a little bit. I'm gonna shoot at F2 just to see what the F2 looks like, to be honest. Oh, I was just looking for the I button, <laughs> but obviously there isn't. So it's interesting, it's it's different style. I'm gonna be a little biking around here. And we're gonna try to shoot what's interesting. Um, I don't know, I haven't, I feel like I haven't shot street in a while, which isn't true, but at 65 millimeter, I definitely have never, because it's a focal range that I don't cover with my gear. I have 85, I have 7200, but I have nothing between 35 and 70. So it's gonna be interesting, to say the least. Let's see what we can get over there. Oh, that could be a good shot. I don't know if I'm gonna get it. Camera is booting. I'm kind of in the middle of the road. And the lens is pretty heavy, I gotta say. It feels like, like one of those vintage lenses. Super like kind of sturdy in your hand, which kind of feels good. A uh, bunch of cars, no! Didn't get the shot I wanted, the cars bumped it. All right, well, that happened. So we have something that's definitely metallic. You can hear it. The lens thread is pretty small on there. And we have, what is that, 62 millimeter for the lens thread. Uh, the focus ring feels nice and smooth. And this is the C series for the Sigma. You have Art, you have C for contemporary. Um, and I think that's gonna feel pretty good. Boom. Let's see what we get here. Yeah, that's definitely not super interesting. Uh, I kind of like the lines I had earlier better. So let's see what we can do here. Look at that, it's like empty roads. We might, I might want to explore that area. What do you guys think? It's a different kind of area. I feel like it's gonna put that lens to test just to see how I would actually shoot with it here. Um, so that that would just come out to be interesting. Well, let's go. There, is, there could be some good details with that old car. That kind of looks like what, an old car from a movie that was like dumped here. It's fun. Yeah. 
I'm not gonna open the Nord exhibition with that one. But gotta warm up, gotta have fun. Most importantly, doesn't matter if you like it or not. If you have fun in the process, that's good. A little Porsche, and can we get those yellow signs like kind of to pop? I feel like when I'm gonna edit that with one of the pieces like Bryce, that's gonna pop. So if I can go around the corner and get a better angle, it's gonna be good. Ooh, white Tesla. Is it gonna poke in the light? Yes, it will. Okay, it's gonna poke in the light over there. Let's see what what we can do. Hmm. The lines are meh, meh, not great. By the way, let me know guys in the comments if you have Sigma lenses, what you like about them. The lens that I used the most back in the days when I was with Nikon was actually a Sigma 35mm 1.8 Art. It was an incredible lens, always loved it. Um, it was a lot heavier than the Sony one, but it was also cheaper, more affordable when you get started in the business, you know, and that was perfect for me. Well, look at that wall you can get some cool like street portraits here we need a friend we need joey where's joey oh look at that dude walking towards us all right we'll get to that person when that person comes uh let's see what we can do with those signs right there in the meantime, ooh, we've got, ooh, look at that car. What is that, that old Corvette? I don't know if you guys can see that. So, there's still the keys, or there's something inside. I don't know if you can see. Let's try to get a, like, zoomed in a little bit on that. I think that edited can look kind of dope. So, we'll see what we bring out here. And let's try to get the guy walking by. Oh, it's a stingray. That's cool. Oh, the guy moved. Oh, ooh, that's actually even better. Ooh, boom, boom, boom. Tech, cool shot. Well, so far, the autofocus seems pretty good. I have no complaint about that. Oh, oh, oh. We can catch that sun and the person. Oh, I missed it. It's kind of hard on the bike, if I'm honest. Sometimes get. Ooh! That bird with the red background. If it flies. Ooh! Uh oh, one more. One more turn. I don't know if it's that interesting, it's, it's just fun to take photos of bird if I'm super honest. Damn it, missed it. So part of me almost wishes it was like longer because 65 is cool but I'm not yet used to it. So far all my, oh, on all my shots I'm way too, uh, what do you call that, way too far. So definitely need to get used, some using too there well so kind of like that side better shooting that way looks cool with the yellow signs uh, hopefully we'll get some people to pass by otherwise I might wait until Joey joins and it could make for really cool shots here and if you look at it another car comes closer that can look really cool too oh we've got two guys coming up uh, looking fun 
Hey, do you mind if do you want, do you mind if I take a photo of you? Yeah. When the light goes green, can we go in that patch of light? It's gonna look really cool. I like the hair and the and the headphones, all the look. Do you mind if we take two photos? One where you're gonna walk from the middle towards me, okay. and one I'm gonna be here. I'm gonna take a photo of you. We're gonna try to do that in like 15 seconds when we have the light. Is that cool with you? Cool. What's your name? Vitsi, I'm Pierre. Nice to meet you. Alright, ready? Let's go. So you go in the middle and walk towards me. Perfect. Turn around. Perfect. Yep, beautiful. Perfect. Cool. Now let's go here. Don't worry about them. Right there, just stay right there. And walk towards me again. Boom. Look a little bit that way. Turn your head a little bit more. Yep, perfect. Boom. Here, I'll show you. Let's cross that way for you. Hi, sir. How are you? Can I take a photo of you? Okay. Do you mind if I take a photo of you? You look really good with the bike. One picture. What do you think? You look good, right? <laughs> Thank you. Okay, I'll show you. Boom. <laughs> you it's like that that one looks cool too mm -hmm. if you want i can send it to you if you have instagram yeah. thank you so much have a great day oh, look at that little guy hey, <laughs> Hey buddy! Oh, you look excited. Huh? <laughs> Have a good day, guys. Oh, I think that was right for me. Oops. Oh. All right. Someone was mentioning that when I take photos of people and stuff, it kind of inspires them. Uh, what I gotta say is that I bounce the energy back, you know? It's like you get some vibe from the people and then after you're able to make their day a little better it makes your day a little better you get some fun shots I just find it really satisfying and obviously it's you have to get out of your comfort zone right it's I mean even for me it's not like easy especially when I'm on my own <laughs> I'm like hey do you mind if I take a photo but I'm like, it looks so damn good. Why pass on the opportunity, you know? It's like if someone told you you could buy Bitcoins at $0.1 and you didn't do it, knowing exactly the price it would be at in the future, which no one knew, by the way. But, ooh, look at that guy with the red jacket. So many cars. Can't see anything. I can't see my subjects. Where's, what's the red light situation here? How can I cross? Can I cross? I need to cross that way. Well, I don't know if you guys can tell what I'm shooting. Hope there is no one in that car. Hey, sir. How are you? Do you mind if I take a photo of you? Uh, what? I really love your red jacket, looks great. Oh, that's perfect. Can you go against that background? <laughs> Get the head down. I'll send you the photo, it's gonna look dope. Just right there, a little bit more that way. Perfect. Oh, are you gonna light it up? No, 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 no. Okay. Boom. Perfect. Oh, one sec, almost there. And. Hey, little guy. Can I show you? Go here. Looking good, no? Okay, okay. Send them to that telephone number. Text them to that telephone okay. number. Don't send them to my Evolution Initiative page. Can I send it to your email? The, yeah, my email is good as, as Your name well. is Edward. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm a nice. drone pilot. You know? Oh, no way. Oh, yeah, yeah, I mean, I'm serious with it too. Take this shit, they fall, break, I rebuild them and everything. That's awesome. Yeah, Can yeah. I take a last one, like close up? Sure. Yeah, just right there. Like a, a little bit more that way. 
If you That's can perfect. use my pictures, use them, man. Oh, I will. There we go. And look towards the sun a little bit. Perfect. And one more. Oh, looking so good. I love the style. Great. We've got the, you know, the yeah. bright jacket. See you. See ya. It's so fun. It's actually a cool lens because you're not too close, you're not too far. This is really fun. Really fun. So sometimes it's always a dilemma. You know, you don't want to annoy people by posing them too much. Um, so you want to make it quick, but sometimes it's, it, it takes a while to get the right pose. There's some real nice bokeh on that, those shots. Boom. All right, guys, we have a professional model coming in. Hot just for us on the other side of the road. Look at that. He's there on a bike also. It's gonna look so good. Oh, the light actually dropped here. Yo! Can't stop. <laughs> oh, that looks good. Stay over there. The light is dope. Oh, hello, mister. Hello. <laughs> yeah, bike over there. Let's go. Oh, he's got the orange contenter pro pants. All right, come towards me. Come back. All right, we're going to do the action test. Boom, boom, boom. Oh. My shutter speed was probably a little... No, 1600. Oh, oh, so beautiful. It's clearly not the A1 in terms of burst. Like you miss a bunch of shots, but the lens did do well oh. and kept you in focus. Nice. Look, look at that, like, oh, that's whoa, are that's you delivering red cameras no. across the city? Actually, my brakes are not really working, so it's a little... Really? A little dicey. Not gripping as much as they, so I would like them to. Hmm, that happens. Look at that guy. He's wearing like black, no orange pants with a black. This is really loud, by the way. Oh, look at the dog. So cool. <laughs> Hello, doggy. And the dog is shy. <laughs> so fun. People are so busy on their phones, they don't even realize when you're standing in front of them with a camera. All right, so I'm at F2 now. I'm sure of that. Good joy right there. The city in the background. It's gonna look good. I'm gonna cross whenever I can also just because I want to get closer like 65 I keep thinking I have like 85 but I definitely don't perfect look at that Joey is getting new profile photos Joey look towards the sun bro yeah there we go Instagram madness influencing Joey is influencing look at that oh yes I do miss a little bit the the button for the face detection because oh. I it's not there. But look at that. We've got Joey influencing in the wild. It's looking great. Do you want to write an inspiration quote? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Inspirational quote or something at the same time? Live. Yeah, like if, if you point your hand like high enough, you can catch the sun and we can replace it with words. Yeah, perfect, Joey. Joy, you're you're like a a natural. Perfect natural. Oh, love it. It's beautiful. Look, you you we, oh can, my God. we can replace oh, it. Oh yes, oh, very nice. Kiss the sun. That's all. Oh, 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 new, oh right, Instagram right. pants. Everyone, <laughs> go on Instagram and love his photos, and mine too. Give it a heart. 
Wait. Give it a hard. Yeah, Big we, hard. Wait. Yes, yes. There we go. Right there. Is that a hard? Yeah, there we go. That's this lens is perfect for those kind of shot guys. Mmm. Mmm. Yes. Oh my god, we're getting bokeh in the middle. Look at this. Oh, hard bokeh. Oh. oh. Perfect kind guys. Of a crippled hard, but, you know. Who cares? So Joey John, he's gonna shoot with his awesome. What kind of lens? That's is a that? that's here. Where does it say? Helios. Ma made in USSR. Wow, it's a Helios lens, something. Helios 442M. Wow. It's radioactive. It's very likely radioactive. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, it looks great. Speaking of that little lens here, I'm having a lot of fun at 65. It's not too close. It's not too far. It's kind of in between that 50 and 85. So 85, you'd be really far from the subject, or like kind of far, 50, you'd be a little too close maybe. And here, you're in between. So I kind of like that. Build-wise, it's, it's definitely very strong. So that's a good point because you're less likely to damage it. That 65 millimeter is such a fun focal length. I wasn't expecting it. It's at perfect between 50 and 70 and 85. It's Something I didn't expect. I ended up taking some photos of my family after. Right, Kiki? Uh, and then, uh, I don't know, I just had a lot of fun with it, to be honest. It's one of those focal lengths that I don't use a lot and that I would actually recommend to anyone to try out at least once because that's gonna put you in a different kind of element and it will make you think differently. Now, the quality is mint on that Sigma. I've looked at the photos, it looks great. Right, Kiki? Yay. The quality was great. The autofocus followed pretty well, even when I was shooting Joy that was going fast. So I gotta say, this is a this is a pretty good lens so far. I'm pretty happy. I'm gonna keep testing it. With that being said, guys, get out there, go shoot, try something different, try something new. I'll see you in the next one. And let me know in the comments below if you do have the lens. First photos from Kira. Dun, dun, dun.